I am Anil Kumar and on pattern rules here is a very interesting question. The question is, can you join 15 dots with 100 line segments? Explain your answer. Hmm. So let me explain to you what I am trying to say here. Let us say I have one dot. In that case, how many line segments do you need to join this dot? Well, none because it is just one dot and a line segment has to go through two dots. So let's take the second case where we have two dots. Now in this case, how many line segments do we need to join uh, these two dots? Well, it is one line segment. You get the idea. Correct. That is what I mean. So if you have three dots, let us say now we have three dots, right? So these are my three dots. Now. How many line segments do you need to join them? So we need one, we need two, and we need three line segments. Correct. Now if I have four dots, then, then how many line segments do I need to join them? So I could have uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So likewise, the question here is that if I have 15 dots, can we join them all with 100 line segments? That is what, right? So here you see I have joined even these two over the line. So all dots should be connected. So for that, how many line segments I need? So that is the question. So one way is you can extend this uh, kind of a pattern and see uh, how the number of dots change, right? So we can have this time, let me complete the previous figure first and then what I will do here is I'll kind of make it interesting so that it becomes easier to figure out the answer. What you can do is you can join it, this extra one, with all other dots. So that should give you a clue, right? So think about it and figure out that uh, if I have 15 dots, how many line segments do I need? Okay, it is very difficult to draw them, but it is easier to figure out a pattern. So to find the pattern, what we can do is uh, we can see with number of dots, uh, what is happening to the line segments. Okay, so let's make kind of a table here. So let us say this is my table, right? So, okay, so, it, oh, that's fine. So what I will do here is that I will write down uh, number of dots in one row and number of segments. So then number of lines, okay. So let us see how many dots and how many lines. So in the first case, I have one dot. In the second case, two, three, four, and five. And number of line segments here is zero. When I have two dots, which is this particular case, I have one line segment. If I have three dots, I have uh, one, two, three line segments. If I have four dots, which is this particular case, then I have one, two, three, four, five, and one, six, right? So that is how the number of segments is increasing with the number of dots. Now, if I have five segments, then I know in the fourth one I had six. Now these are extra, so let me count those. So it is seven, eight, nine, and one, ten. So in this case, I have ten. Likewise, what you can do is you can draw the sixth one, right? So that is an exercise for you, and figure out how many. Once you do that, you will get a very clear idea of how the number of segments is increasing as we increase the number of dots. So, can you find a relation? So, let's try to figure that out. So, to start with, when we had started with 1, there was no line segment required. But when we had 2, then I had 1. When we had 1 more, then 1 plus 2. Because I already had 2 points which should be connected. So, it is 1 plus 2. So, that 3 which I got was because of 1 plus 2. So, that is how from here I got there, right? Now, when I added the fourth one, in that case, the fourth one had to be connected with three. I already had three line segments, so that should be connected with three, and that is how I got six. Okay, now in that one, 
I already had six but then I had four earlier points to be connected so I'm connecting with this four to get ten so here I expect that I should have already have ten but the next point should connect to five more so if I connect to five more I expect fifteen here so that one is easy so that way I can find that the sixth line segment uh, I mean six dots can be connected with 15 line segments right okay so that much is understandable now I have to figure out that if I extend this rule to 15 dots then how many line segments are required how to get that rule and that is still a question now can this type of pattern help you to find how to find uh, you know the total number okay so can you figure out a rule well let's again look into the numbers which we have now let us say that we want to get uh, 3 from 2 and 3 how can we get 3 from 2 and 3 somehow and how do we get 6 from 4 and 3 what is 4 times 3 4 times 3 is 12 and 6 is half of 12 okay so I think that works right 5 times 4 is how much 5 times 4 is 20 and half is 10 oh god it works so let me try this formula so what I will do here is I'll write down the formula so what I'm doing here is and in 1 times 2 divided by 2 to get the number here so 1 times 2 is 2 2 divided by 2 is 1 that is correct so so from here to here I get this formula and then when I'm trying to get this number let's do 2 times 3 divided by 2 well that is indeed 3 right so this is equals to 3 that is correct and so uh, here let me try 3 times 4 divided by 2 3 times 4 is 12 divided by 2 is 6 that is also correct okay so uh, how much how can I get for 16 so I mean sixth six dots for six dots I should multiply 5 and 6 correct so 5 times 6 and then divide by 2 5 times 6 is 30 divided by 2 is 15 that is correct so for 15 what should I do hmm well I think you got it you should do 14 times 15 divided by to to get your answer that is correct so if that is the right answer then the number of segments will be how many let's calculate you can take calculate so we have 14 times 15 divided by 2 if I divide 14 by 2 I get 7 7 times 15 okay 7 times 5 is 35 3 7 times 1 is 7 and 3 is 105 well for 15 I need 105 segments so 100 line segments will not work for me I need 105 segments to join 15 dots that is what this exercise is all about I hope with this exercise you learn how to develop your patterns and kind of find a rule by working in different ways and manipulating the numbers right so that is what this exercise is all about and I hope you understand and appreciate it thank you and all the best